hopefully you have a nice little break here. Um, this is 5e, multiplying and dividing complex numbers. So I haven't really defined what a complex number is until now. Um, it's in the form a plus pi, where a is a real number. So that's like 2, 3, 4, negative 3, negative 4. It could be a decimal. It could be a fraction. And b is also a real number. And obviously, i is the imaginary part. So together, this is known as the real part of this complex number. And the bi part, this is the imaginary. Together, real and imaginary, when you put them together, this is known as a complex number. So when I talk about a complex number, it's a real and imaginary part put together. So when we're simplifying, we just have to remember every time that any time you have an i squared, this is equivalent to negative 1. So when you're multiplying, you treat it i is just like variables. So when we're multiplying a binomial times a binomial, like we have in example 1, you're just doing the exact same thing as you've done before. Um, double distribute, or some of you know it as fact or FOIL. 5 times 6, 30. 5 times negative 4i, then negative 20i. Remember, this subtraction comes with the negative 4i. Then we do i times 6, which is 6i. And i times a negative 4i, then negative 4i squared. So after the very first step, we multiply. So first step is multiply. Second step is to always simplify. So first multiply, second simplify. So we look at like terms. Here are your like terms in the middle. I'm just going to write it down 30, negative 20i plus 6i, and subtract them just like variables. That's negative 14i. And then we have i squared here. So that's negative 4. I squared is the same thing as negative 1, so times negative 1. We have negative 4 times negative 1. We can simplify that quick. Negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 4. And then we combine our last like terms. And then so we have 30 plus 4 is 34 minus 14i. Moving on. So next one is again just to simplify. And anytime you see something squared, any binomial squared, this means times itself. So that's right twice. That's what the square means. Times itself. So it's a plus i squared means that times itself. So now let's multiply this out. A times a is 64. 8 times i is 8i, i times 8 is 8i, and then i times i is i squared. Uh, so let's, we have i squared, that's equivalent to negative 1. So like terms, we have 64 plus negative 1, that's 63. And then the like terms here, 8i plus 8i is 16i. And that is your final answer. So that's multiplication. Come to question. Come to class with any questions you have on multiplication. We'll practice more here. Um, moving on to dividing complex numbers. So there's two different types. You have monomial in the denominator. So this is with a monomial. Example three. So you have the denominator is a monomial. So there's one term in the denominator. All you do is multiply the numerator and denominator by that denominator. So you can multiply the numerator times negative 10i and the denominator times negative 10i. When you multiply numerator and denominator by the exact same thing, that's equivalent to multiplying by 1. So it really doesn't change the problem, the value of it, but it makes it so then our goal here is to get it so the i, we have to get rid of the i and the denominator. That's your goal. So let's multiply this in. So you have negative 10i times 8 is a negative 80i. 
negative 10 i times a negative 6 to the positive 60 i squared. That's our numerator. And let's multiply the denominator, which is one term times one term is 100 i squared. So if you multiply, so again, first step is to multiply. So you multiply by the denominator. Now we look to simplify. We have i squared, that's negative 1. i squared, that's negative 1. So I have 60 times negative 1. I have negative 80 i. 60 times negative 1 is a negative 60. So you can do plus negative 60 or minus 60 over 100 times negative 1 is a negative 100. And now we look to simplify. We have coefficient is negative 80, negative 60, and negative 100. All those are divisible by, you can divide by negative 10. So I divide negative 80 by negative 10, I get 8. Negative 60 divided by negative 10 is a positive 6. And negative 100 divided by negative 10 is 10. So let's rewrite this here. We have 8i plus 6 over 10. Oh man, we could actually divide it by more. I see it. 8, 6, and 10 are all divisible by 2. So divide by 2, you get 4. Divide by 2, you get 3. Divide by 2, you get 5. So when you're simplifying these, you can actually... You can keep, keep simplifying down to the final term. And your whole goal was there's no i in the denominator. That's your goal on dividing. So the next one we have, now it's a binomial in the denominator. So binomial in the denominator. And how you do this is you multiply, it's just like radicals. I know you don't like that word, but just like radicals. Switch the sign of the imaginary. Switch the imaginary sign and multiply by that. So instead of plus 4i, I'm going to multiply by a negative 5 minus 4i. And this is known as the conjugate. We're all defined by the conjugate. So negative 5 minus 4i, that is known as the conjugate. It's like the opposite. So we multiply here. Binomial, we have a monomial times a binomial on top. So negative 50 minus 40i over. I have a binomial times a binomial, so we have negative 5 times negative 5, 25. Negative 5 times negative 4i is 20i. We have 4i times negative 5 is a negative 20i. And the last terms, negative 16i squared. Let's rewrite that down here. So we have the numerator, I don't have to simplify anything. The denominator, the middle two terms here are opposites, they will cancel. I have i squared is negative 1, so negative 16 times negative 1 is a positive 16. We have 25 plus 16 in the denominator is 41. And you see, I no longer have any i's in the denominator, that was your whole goal. goal. No i's in the denominator. Uh, I look at negative 50, 40, and 41. Are any of those divisible? Are they all divisible by the same number? No. So that is my final answer. So your goal here, get the denominator without i's. So come to class with any questions. We'll practice more. Thank you.